Hello, this is Liz. I'm a Lenovo Certified Technician. We're going to go over how to install a hard drive and install Windows. If you want to just see the Windows portion of this video, you can skip to four and a half minutes. So I'm unplugging my battery and I already have my computer unplugged and I have my screwdriver. Uh, both the screwdriver and the pry tool I have listed down below if you want to know where to buy them. Now, so in order to replace a hard drive, we have to get into the computer. As you see, I'm going to take off all the screws on my bottle panel. Sometimes there's just an easy access panel. If you can't figure out how to get into your computer, I strongly suggest looking up a disassembly video on YouTube for your specific novel, uh, model, Lenovo, because they vary drastically from model to model. Uh, realistically, any computer is going to be different no matter the maker model, how to get inside. So go ahead and look up a a disassembly video if you don't have that easy access panel or it isn't blatantly obvious how to get inside your computer. So as you can see I have most of them off. I'm going to remove my DVD drive. And if you have a battery inside your laptop as opposed to the outside, make sure to unplug it once you get in the inside. When you're doing any sort of work inside a laptop, you don't want power. So now I'm going to take my pry tool and I'm going to pry off this bottom panel like so. And I am going to get inside my computer. Okay, so once I'm inside, you're going to look for a hard drive. Uh, now at 3 minutes and 45 seconds I'll show you what to do if you have a solid state drive on the inside. So I removed the door. It pried off pretty easy. Uh, sometimes you have to pry the palm rest off the bottom or sometimes you have to pry the bottom off the top so it can vary. Alright so now that I've located this is what my hard drive looks like. Now we're going to unplug as you see, I unscrewed that one screw and now I'm going to pull it away from the port. So this is what it looks like. And now as you can see, I have this little caddy that you have to take off in order to replace the hard drive. Just like so. It can be, might not be a bad idea to take a picture of the orientation of the caddy on the hard drive because it can get confusing remembering with some of them. Okay, so once you have it off, this is a 2.5 hard drive. Uh, if you're looking for a replacement option, I have one listed down below with a SATA connection. So if yours looks like this, I have uh, the common, most common options for a hard drive replacement down below in the description. I've also included a solid state upgrade. So if you have a hard drive that looks like this, you can upgrade to a solid state drive. A link below for an, uh, how, where to get them on Amazon. So if I would take my new hard drive, I would put that caddy back on. And then I would put the screws back. Um, sometimes people ask, can I just swap out a hard drive for a solid state drive? Yes, you can, as long as it's the same, uh, like you said, size, if this is a 2.5 inch, and the same connection, which is SATA. So I line it back up with the port, and I plug it back in, like so. It's really simple once you get into it. The getting into the computer is usually the hard part. And then I take that screw and I screw it back in. Now just for a second we're going to talk about if you have a solid state drive on the inside. I'll show you on this Dell. Uh, once again internal battery, unplug it. This will only take 30 seconds and then we'll go on to the installation. Uh, so as you can see this is a solid state drive like so. So we have the most common kind and then you would put plug it back in like so. So once again, we have the most kind, common kind of solid state drives listed down below in the description with the Amazon links for replacements. So if you open it up and you find you have a solid state drive like that, um, compare it with what we have down below. Okay, so you would close it back up either way and I'm not going to show you how to close it back up because you already got the idea. Okay, so now how to install Windows 10. I'm going to plug in my Windows 10 installation USB. I have a video in the description down below on how to create this USB for free at Microsoft.com. I hit the power button and then I'm going to hit enter with that installation USB already plugged in. And then after that, I'm going to hit F12 for this particular uh, model of Lenovo. That's how I get to the boot menu. 
With some models of Lenovo, you can just tap on F12 to enter the boot menu. And with other uh, models of Lenovo, you tap on F12 with FN. And unfortunately, Lenovo has not standardized how to enter the boot menu. So if you find you can't enter it with these keys, then look up your, make and mo your model Lenovo and see how to enter the boot menu. So once I'm in the boot menu, I select the USB and hit enter and Windows will start to boot off of that USB. Now for a brief stop, we're going to talk about some installation tips and tricks. These are just some common problems people have. You may not have these issues, but it's good to know. If your computer will not boot off your USB, try a different USB port. If it will not boot off your USB, then go into your BIOS settings and make sure the USB is listed first in the boot order. And then the last one, if your computer will not boot off the USB, get to the installation screen, errors out during install, won't complete install, or literally anything else. Go into your BIOS settings and make sure your computer is set to UEFI with secure boot on. These settings are usually listed under the boot and security tab. They have to be set this way for Windows 10 to function correctly, even during install. Incorrectly set boot settings is the number one cause for installation problems. Okay, now back to the install. Okay, so now I'm at the setup window. I hit next and then install now. You accept all the that little checkbox right there and then hit next. Custom install. Now we're going to delete all these partitions off of, if you have two hard drives, only delete them off of the hard drive you want to install Windows on. But for me, I have one hard drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything. As a side note, you will lose all your information when you delete it. So I select the drive and hit next. Now this process will simply just take some time. It's going to install to do the getting ready files, ready for installation, you get your features, your updates. Each one of these steps takes a while. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit so that we don't have to wait. And then it's going to restart a couple times possibly. Um, you're going to get a couple different screens. All right, so now we're at the Windows 11 setup screen. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm in the United States, so that's what I'm picking. And then I hit yes. And then I keyboard, yes. I don't need an additional keyboard, so I'm gonna hit skip. I am not going to say I have internet. I'm going to set that up when I get in there because I don't want to be forced to sign in with my Microsoft account. I'm just going to make a local account with my name. I was going to put Dell, but you know what? I'll put my actual name. I hit next. I'll set up the password later. And I hit next for the privacy and accept. And then it's just going to load a little bit more. We're in the home stretch at this point, almost done. Depending on your computer, this can take uh, you know a varying amount of time. So be patient with your computer. Ta-da! Windows 11. So that is how you go about installing Windows 11 on your computer. Have any questions? Leave them down below. Thank you for your continued support of our channel, both through subscribing and through Patreon. Also, a big shout out to our fellow eggheads who purchase merchandise from our store. And as always, thank you for liking and sharing our videos. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.